Hey, uh, it's Will. I'm going to teach you the plow pose that I talk about so often in class that we do in class and uh, just it's really been a huge game changer to my body and, 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 and just really everything else in my life because if I can open my spine and my spine connects my entire body, including my consciousness and my breath and everything, I can really have a massive effect on my entire physiology and my mental capacity and my emotional life and my mental state. So here's plow pose. You need a few things for the practice. Um, so I, I get a block, right? It's a, uh, a six by nine by four block. A blanket is super helpful if you're working on a hardwood floor. I have a yoga mat um, here. Uh, you wanna do this on a harder surface, so do not do this in your mattress at bed at night. It's not gonna work. If you're on a carpet uh, and it's soft, great. You just might wanna put a mat down or you can just do it straight on the carpet. Uh, and also a sandbag might be very helpful. Uh, this is by Barefoot Yoga. It's like a 12 pound sandbag and it really gets you deeper into the pose as well. So it's like no joke. It's like legit sandbag. Um, okay, so we're gonna start right by setting up our surface, right? And this is our uh, mat or our blanket. I just wanna put it down um, so I can capture my, capture my entire spine on the blanket, right? No kinks, nothing funky, right? Make it nice and neat and organized. As even the back of my head is going on, right? There's no, like, I want the entire spine on the blanket. Keep my block handy off to the side. And I'm gonna measure just keeping everything on the blanket perfect. Uh, and then I wanna get into my first fold, right? The first fold, right, is bringing the upper body and the lower body to connect. So I can just simply start, you know, toes and wrists, hand over top of the foot, and knee and armpit, right? And notice I'm in this fold here. I have a connection between my torso and my thighs. Right, this, I want to maintain this contact the whole time. Torso, thighs, armpits and knees, hands and feet. Right, um, and then I'm going to take the other one. And to simply start, right, depending on if your back's really tight, you only need to come off the floor maybe a few inches. This is it. And you can take a block, right, and support yourself and rest yourself here. The hands stay anchored onto the feet. The knees stay into the armpits right here. Right, the torso stays connected to the thigh. I have a timer, work with a timer, set a timer for at least four minutes, at least four minutes, maybe five, maybe 10, go up to 20, 30, 40 minutes, and just stay here and breathe into the backside of your body. You'll get plenty of work here with your spine, just even the tailbone is lifted only a few inches off the floor. Maybe go further. Notice my feet, my toes are still curled under into my hands. You can bring the block, so you're not doing a lot of work here, you're just really resting and breathing. You want to go further, you can point the toes, slide the hands into the tops, the feet into the tops of the hands. Right, the very last, if you want to go really deep, you can take the arms out, right, knees and ears are connected, take the hands over top, clasp the opposite shins. Now if you want to go deep, you can take a blanket or that uh, sandbag and bring it right over top of the heels, right, and just stay here. Breathing, allowing things to open, right, and just listening for the timer. And when the timer rings, I slowly roll myself out, nice and easy. You might feel a lot of heat in your low back. I bring the feet down to the floor as wide as the mat, knee center, and I just sway side to side. Taking some breaths, always breathing. This is just a great way, just shifting those knees side to side, a great way to organize, reorganize the spine. Maybe take a spinal twist. Um, but that's really plow, that's plow. Set a timer, it's so wonderful to set a timer or at least make a container of like doing it for like 25, 30 or 100 breaths. Um, but that's plow, let me know if you have any questions. It's incredibly powerful, it's like an everyday maintenance kind of pose, especially if you're sitting over top of a desk all day or typing or texting. Uh, so this is great for the spine to really open up that low back and open up the energies in the pelvis and really just feel so much more alive. Um, so maybe four or five minutes in the morning, four or five minutes at night, maybe something longer in the morning or at night time, but this is daily maintenance. So uh, let me know if you have any questions and I hope you do this very often. Your spine and your life and all the people around you will thank you. Plus you might stand up a little taller and be more noticed. Namaste? Yeah, namaste. Why not? Bye, guys.